एवरीवन वेलकम टू द पार्ट टू ऑफ द सेशन ऑन फील्ड एक्सट्रैक्शन फ्रॉम द पीडीएफ फाइल सो इन द प्रीवियस सेशन दैट इज इन द पार्ट वन ऑफ द सेशन वी हैड लर्न हाउ टू एक्सट्रैक्ट फील्ड्स फ्रॉम द पीडीएफ फाइल एंड हाउ टू डिस्प्ले इट इनसाइड द मैसेज बॉक्स एंड इन द टूडे सेशन वी विल लर्न हाउ वी कैन पुट दो एक्सट्रैक्टेड फील्ड फ्रॉम द पीडीएफ फाइल इन साइड द एक्सेल शीट and if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos so let's get started and if you have not watched part 1 that is how to extract the pdf fields and how to put it inside the message box i would suggest you to please watch that video because in the today session i will be doing certain modifications in the task which we had created in the previous session now assuming that you have already watched that session let's proceed so for that we had the task which we created in the previous session this was our task so i will do slight modifications in the task now our task is to put those extracted data inside the excel sheet so for that we need to open a spreadsheet so i will put the step as open spreadsheet so create variable again it will be in the top and i will put open spreadsheet over here so i will put the open spreadsheet and we will specify the pdf we will extract the data and assign it to the variable that will be similar as of the previous session we will display the fields inside the message box and i will write as put the fields in the excel sheet we will put the extracted fields inside the excel sheet and once the loop is over since it will be done for multiple of pdfs once the loop will be over we will close the spreadsheet so let's see how we can do these things with the help of automation anywhere now for that i am going to create an excel sheet so i will create a new excel sheet i will write pdf extraction and i will give the command over here to open the spreadsheet so for that we have excel command with us so i will take the command as open spreadsheet so double click on open spreadsheet so we have selected the command as open spreadsheet i will take the session name as session 1 and i need to give the spreadsheet path so i will take the spreadsheet path pdf extraction and i will click on save correct and i will move this to up okay and i will put some of the values over here so what we were extracting we were extracting bill period account number and due date so i will put the values over here bill period account number and due date correct so now what it will do what this task will do it will open the spreadsheet it will start the loop it will extract the data from the pdf it will display it inside the message box and now i want to put the extracted fields inside the excel sheet so for that i want to put my first data in a2 that is this cell i want to put my first data in a2 so for that you need to specify this cell that you want to put the first data in a2 so how we can do that in automation anywhere we will go to that this command that is go to cell and in the go to cell command you have the option of specific cell you will place a2 over here so once you use this command once you provided this command as go to specific cell a2 your a2 cell will be active okay 
and I will click on save session name it is taken as session 1 that is similar to this session so that's okay so I will save this so you will open the spreadsheet and you will provide the command that go to cell A2 my A2 cell is active now now I can put the value in A2 so for that for putting the value that is we are doing this step we are putting the extracted fields inside the excel sheet so how we can put extracted fields inside the excel sheet so for that you will go to the command as set cell and you will double click on the set cell and you it is it has taken the session name as session 1 so that's okay and which cell you want to set whether active cell or any specific cell so i have already made my this cell as active so i will take the option as active cell and what will be the cell value so this is a variable so this is the variable which we had created over here and which we had extracted and put it inside the pdf integration command so I will give the cell value for that I will press F2 and I will give the variable as bill period. I will click on insert and I will click on save. So I will put it over here. So what will happen with this set value of active cell with bill period? So what will happen in A2 you will have the value of bill period you will have the value of bill period which got extracted from this command from this integration command as you can see bill period it has extracted this field and it has put it to a variable that is the bill period this is was the bill period which we have created in the previous session okay so it will take the value so i will click on save now we have the value of bill period with us now i want to move to this b2 cell and i want to put the value of account num over here so as of now my this cell is active my a2 is active now i want to make b2 as active so how to do that so for that we can give the command again i will take the command as go to cell and now what we are doing we are moving one cell to right okay so i will take take the command as one cell to right we are not giving any specific cell why we are not giving since we are in the first iteration if we are giving a2 to b2 that will be done the execution will work fine but in the further executions in the further iterations that command will not work we will see why will it not work okay so i have given the command as one cell to right i will click on save and i will place it over here and we are over b2 and i will set the value of the cell so for that i will click the set cell and in the set cell i want to take the active cell since my b2 is active now i want to take the active cell and i want to set the value as i will press f2 and i want to take the value as account num and I will click on insert and I will click on save okay so my account number will be filled accordingly now I again want to move one cell to right that is I want to put the value of due date so for that again take the command as go to cell and I will take again one cell to right and it got selected and then i will set the cell so what this what cell you want to set you want to set the active cell since the active cell now is c2 and what you want variable what variable you want to put you want to put the variable of due date so i will put the cell value as f2 and due on i will select the variable as due on and i will click on insert and i will click on save correct so these values we have put now by this process my first loop that is the loop 1 will be over and my active cell will be c2 okay my active cell is c2 now in the loop 2 when loop 2 will be executed i want to start from a3 i want to start from here so how to move from this cell to this cell 
okay so for that what we can do we can move one cell down we can give the command as move one cell down and move to the beginning of the row okay these two commands you need to put so let's see over here so you will click go to cell one cell below i will click on save and again go to cell beginning of the row okay so by this process by this process this cell will be activated so once the loop will be started again so this is the end of the loop so once the loop is started again pdf integration that is the second pdf will be extracted and those values it will set the value of active cell of bill period that is it will set the bill period in a3 now okay so by this way you can put the commands so i will close this file and since we have provided all the commands after that i need to close the spreadsheet also because we have we are done with this command put the extracted fields into the spreadsheet and now we need to close the spreadsheet so for that you will take the command as close spreadsheet and it has taken the session name as session 1 so i will click on save so i have put all the commands in this task which we need to execute so i am going to execute it now so let's see how our execution goes so my execution is started and it has opened the spreadsheet and it displayed the message of the loop 1 so i will click on okay and it provided the details and it put the values inside the excel sheet and this is the value from loop 2 that is from pdf 2 and i will click on okay and it put the values in the second row and i will click on okay this is the value from loop 3 and i will click on okay and it put the value and it closed the spreadsheet so this are these are my values which got extracted from three pdf files in a loop of 3 okay so by this process you can extract the fields from the pdf file and you can put it inside the message box so if you have multiple of pdf files with you maybe hundreds and thousands of pdf files with you and if those pdf files are structured that is to be noted if those pdf files are structured because this is this was my first pdf file let me open another pdf file also this was my first pdf file and this was my second pdf file so you can see these two pdf files are structured that means all the values are in, are placed in the similar position so if you have multiple of pdf files and those are structured that is values are placed in a similar position say so see here the account number is placed at this position and this file also account number is placed in this position so that means if the pdf files are structured you can use this process to extract the values from the pdf file but but in case your pdf file is not structured if your pdf files are unstructured in this case in this process won't work why it won't work let me show you because in this command which we had given pdf integration and the fields which we had extracted we had extracted using the position what we were doing we were dragging it right from the previous session if you remember we were dragging it we were selecting this position and we were we had we had extracted this value by selecting this position so this extraction takes place this field extraction take place on the basis of its position in the pdf file so if the positions are same in all the pdf files this task will work very easily but if you have any struct unstructured pdf file this will not work so this was all about this session and if you have any queries please put in the comment section below and i will try to solve your queries for sure thank you have a nice day